public education is at the top of the list when it comes to factors driving economic development. That's why the issue was front and center at an annual meeting of regional business, civic, and government leaders today in Tupelo. WCBI's Allie Martin was there and has more on it. Don Nielsen is a man on a mission. Transforming our public school system. Nielsen is a successful businessman who served eight years on the Seattle School Board where he led reform efforts for that entire district. Now he travels the country telling audiences how constructive change is possible for public schools. Nielsen was one of the keynote speakers during the annual State of the Region meeting sponsored by the CREATE Foundation. He says Mississippi has taken several steps to improve the state's public education system. Recovery districts, um, that's unique. There's only a few states that have that piece of legislation passed. That legislation allows the state to take over failing school districts until things improve. Nielsen says true education reform takes place at the state level and he has a plan of action that would replace certification standards, abolish elected school boards, and pay teachers based on performance and merit. Everyone attending the State of the Region meeting gets a progress report in areas such as developing a diversified economy, reducing the dropout rate, and improving per capita income all across the region. Of course, public education plays a key role in all of those goals. We are in a global economy. You know, like we have a lot of furniture jobs in Pontotoc. Mm -hmm. uh, furniture's not staying here. It's been shipped everywhere. Mississippi was given a national award by the Education Commission of the States. It's going to be awarded to the governor at the end of uh, June. Part of that package was the Literacy Promotion Act and, and making sure our kids read by third grade. The Magnolia State was one of only two states showing gains in reading and math proficiency among fourth graders. Experts encourage leaders to continue the push for true education reform that will be felt by all Mississippians. In Tupelo, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News. 19 of the 33 districts served by the CREATE report, a report, rather a dropout rate of 10% or lower.